won't go too far because I don't pick up too many pieces of vegetation that tend to stun the spiders and all the other things that are inside. And I'll point out the types of insects. That's a salticid, uh, commonly known as a jumping spider, um, because they jump uh, onto their potential prey. And then they have, actually pound for pound, they have very powerful venom. Uh, they do have the ability to spin web, but they typically are more um, uh, hunters where they'll jump onto their prey uh, and venomate them. You can see that they're not going to jump on one of those big, huge grasshoppers, but they'll take one of those smaller bugs. And uh, the venom tends to make them paralyze them very quickly. They drop right where they're at. Second spider in our, in yes, our series. Yes, this, this is a family salticity, yes. And the first one we caught up near the shrubbery with yes. the, the funnel web. Yes. This one was uh, in, in the grass here. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Two different types of habitat. Yes. Yes, they're highly modified for living in specific places. Right down in there. You can tell it's a jumping spider because its first two pairs of legs are. Um, out in front, you can see there, and I can't tell what sex this is, but because it's a fairly small phytopus, small uh, salticid, but you can see the first two pair of legs are nice and large. And Larry, you mentioned about the venom in this spider. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a that's a perception a lot of people have. Spider bite is going to hurt, cause pain, but in reality. A lot of times they can't even penetrate your, your skin. True, exactly. right, right. I mean, something this size, uh, especially with the fact that the fangs are going to be working opposing to each other, you know, they're, they're going to have a hard time even getting through your, your epidermis, let alone down into the you know, bloodstream of your, ep, your epidermis. But, yeah, the, the spiders are all, they all have venom because that's how they capture their uh, food items. But um, unless the person's allergic to it, venom is a protein material and it's not any worse than say a, a yellow jacket steam if they happen to um, want to buy. <coughs> we only have the two in North America, the two spiders, the black widow that has the neurotoxic venom and then the uh, brown recluse that has the hematoxic venom that can cause the potential problems. Many kids that you know don't have any fear of these things find these kind of fun to play with because the larger uh, or adult sized ones will actually you can put them on a pencil and they'll play peekaboo with you. Mm -hmm. They've got, um, if you look at them under a microscope or see some of the larger adults, they've got two very large eyes in the center and then the other six eyes are to the side much smaller. So they've got pretty good uh, vision uh, as small as they are and for spiders. That's spider number two in our search. Larry's going to go back through and uh, see what else we could turn up in this particular habitat, and we'll uh, see you next week.